think there's something that you must learn uh, from this service today. I'm going to pray for you. You must learn to say sorry. Don't, don't justify yourself. Don't, don't try. Even when you are right, say what? You must learn that. There's a secret that if I will tell you, you won't understand it. I saw my mom suffering. I saw it. And I told myself that that suffering of my mom, I must solve it. I'll make sure that I stay with mama, take care for her, whatever, whatever. I, I had nothing, I could see it, and I said, I'll do it. Not because I had anything. It started from your attitude. You tell yourself, okay, I can see my parents, they reached to this level. I'll make sure that I reach another level. I can give you an example. I mean, after they send you to school, think about it. Now you get a job, you want to marry. Ah, you're question, I mean, it's questionable. After they send you to school, well now, when you, are, you, you just get a job, now you want to marry now. You have not done even anything in the house. Even, you have not even buy a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> you want to marry now. No, that, that is my life. That is my life. Ah, very soon you are going to cry. This man will kick you back to home. Yeah. And there's nothing there. Do you know why many boys are not respecting you, girls? Because you don't respect your parents. You know, the way you behave to your parents... Even the boy, when he wants to propose, he will just say, hey, I want to do what is right. But the way you act yourself, the boy just come and say, come and sleep over. Ah, you just go there. This boy will just say, oh, this is uh, here. Uh, this, this girl is cheap. You, you are treating yourself cheap. Even, come here, hello, come here, sleep this side. You just jump out with the window, you run. You're, you're a dog. <laughs> there, there's, there's no dog that follows the protocols. Is it true? true. Eh? true. A, a, a dog doesn't follow protocol. Somebody just say, hello, dog. Doggy, hello, where are you? Sleep over, come. You just, you just look around, you see around, okay? Everybody's asleep, you open the window. <laughs> Early in the morning, already you are taking the broom. Shua, shua, shua. Your parents are praising you, but you are making them stupid. That one who say you are a dog will treat you like a dog one day. And your parents will be surprised. Ah, this child, why you are facing all this? I'm sure you understand what, what I'm trying to say. Some things we are creating them by them, ourselves. Can we go back where we bring respect? We do things in the right way. I mean, there's nothing called too late. Nothing. If you are in the Lord here, God will help you. Bring respect. Respect your parents. I mean, kneel down before your parents. Allow them to bless you. Now you are standing with your parents and you say, these guys, these guys, you are meaning your parents. You call them guys. I was just hearing my daughter, you know, of seven years, calling me and Mama say, hey, you know this too, hey, this too. <laughs> we are two now, this too. <laughs> I'm sure we are learning a lot. God loves you. I want to pray for you. Some of you already have created problems that cannot be solved. You have got children now. Don't judge yourself by what has happened. Tell yourself you want to do what is right. The Holy Spirit is around. The Bible talks about a new creature. It means you can start a life anew. I don't know if you're hearing me. And starting a life with the Lord, you'll never be late. You will never be late. Some of you already, you look at yourself, you blame yourself by the past. Uh, I mean, forget about the past. You've done wrong, you've done wrong. Learn to say sorry. Just, okay, just to say sorry, Mama. Sorry, Mama, I'm very sorry. I didn't listen to you. You know, Mama want to hear those where she will be healed. 
when she look at you, she remember, you know, the time when she speaks, you, you speak two. When she say one, you say three. When she say five, you say seven. Mama is afraid even to speak with you. Mama is afraid to speak with you. Every know you are wild. So I wish uh, I can have more time with you to tell you this. I'll call one day I have a meeting with young people and try to tell you, we are no longer seeing it. Because maybe we have got coaches now. You can't kneel before your parents. You know the reason why you kneel? You want their blessing. You see kneeling before your parents. You are saying, Papa, you, want, you must bless me. You can't even kneel now. You can shake your hands with your parents like this. Sometimes you, you, you do like this. Take five. <laughs> to your parents now. And sometimes you do like this. Even, even small children like, like that. To your parents. It's a shame to us. That is why we are losing value. That's why, you know, killing each other is simple. That's why you people now, because of Facebook, you can talk whatever. You don't respect. Yeah. You just say whatever. And this is bringing curse to us. Think about we'll have a society that doesn't fear God. I think I want people today who say, I know I've sinned against God. I want to repent. If you're around and you look at your life, I want to change. There are people I've heard this, that. They can lift up their hands and come forward and say, I want to start in here. Come forward. Just come now. And say, I want to repent. Come. Don't look at anybody. Come forward. Uh, glory be to God. Come. Others, you're not, when your parents speak, you just insult them. Others, you, you don't even respect to anybody. Others, because they are, there's a pain. Maybe your parents hated you. You don't know they were trying to groom you. You are, you are, you are fighting them. And this will make your parents, you as a parent, your children will fight you double. So as you are coming today, tell yourself, no, no, I don't want to cause pain. I want to be a child of blessing. I know where I'm wrong. I'm sure you understand that. Okay, I've been hurt, that's fine. But I want to live right. I don't want to hurt anybody. These people want to pray for you. You people want to pray for you. will make you to pray a prayer of repenting, and we also pray for you. You know your brothers hated you, your sister hated your cousin, but you can forgive them and tell yourself, okay, my life now, it must be a different life now. And I want to, listen, don't come because you want prayer. Uh -uh. Come because you, are, you want to change. Just lift up your hands to God. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I know my wrongs. My character were different. I have lived a wrong life. Today, I ask you to forgive me. I hated people. Today, I pray a prayer of Jabez. I don't want to cause pain. I want to be a child of blessing. Father, forgive my sins, my wrongs, my wrongs do we. Wash me with your precious blood. I will ask forgiveness to those I did cause pain. I will ask forgiveness to those that I have hated. Today, I know my life is changing. I will respect everybody and love everybody. Give me a spirit of following you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.